How do you graph a verbal description of a relation? Warren earns seven dollars per hour working at a bookstore. He begins the school year with ten dollars in savings. We'll look at that scenario later. In this lesson you will learn how to sketch the graph of a linear relation by investigating the, the equation and verbal description. To review, remember the slope is the rate of change and so the rate of change is the change in y divided by the change in x. So we see here the change in, the change in x is 1, the change in y is negative 3. So when we divide negative 3 by 1 we should have a slope of negative 3. The y-intercept is the value of y when x is 0. Uh, this can be interpreted as before anything has been done to the uh, the independent variable. Um, and it's also your initial value, your starting value. A common mistake. So when we see a scenario, a common mistake is to switch the numbers that are the slope and the y-intercept. So look in the pic looking at the picture, uh, we have a, what was thought to be a y-intercept of 0 0.5 and a slope of 2. But if we look at the um, scenario, then we see that the ice cream cup costs two dollars. That's a one-time cost. It's the initial cost of the ice cream. And every time you add a topping, it's fifty cents. So we have those numbers backwards. It doesn't fit the description at all. So we, we see that we, we should have a y-intercept of two, and every time we add a topping, uh, the graph increases by fifty cents. So that fits more with the description. That's one way to kind of check and make sure that you're on the right track. All right, so if I have an equation like y equals 2x minus 4, and I want to sketch a graph, well, the first thing that I'm going to do is look at the y-intercept. Because I know that's a point that's on the graph that, that's going to be the easiest to find with the least amount of calculation. So at 0, comma, negative 4, there should be a point. Everywhere else from that point, we can count out the slope. The uh, change in y is 2, and the change in x is 1. So for every one uh, unit to the right, the graph will also climb two units uh, towards the positive end here, it's from negative 4. So starting at 0, negative 4, if we go 1 to the right and 2 up, that's going to give us a point of 1, comma, negative 2. And then the next one's going to be 2, comma, 0. And so when we get those two points counted out using the slope, we can go ahead and connect them and that's the sketch of our graph. So starting with the y-intercept, plot that point, and then from the y-intercept, go ahead and count out two more points using the slope. So the slope being the change in y divided by change in x. All right, let's revisit our scenario. Warren earns seven dollars per hour working at a bookstore, and he begins the school year with ten dollars in savings. So we have our graph here. Uh, the hours worked on the x-axis, and the amount saved on the y-axis. The y-intercept is 10. It says he begins the school year. We know the y-intercept is also the initial value. So he begins with $10. So we find that point first. Uh, the minimal calculation is going to be with that point there. So we have 0, 10. Now from that point, what we're going to do is count out two more points uh, that will fit on this graph using our slope. So our slope is 7. And so for every one hour Warren works, he, the, amount, amount, the amount he has saved will increase by 7. So we count out one hour worked and seven more dollars saved, and then another hour worked and seven more dollars. So we plot those, point, plot those two points down, and then when you have a ruler, you can connect. So that graph of this scenario uh, looks as it does on the graph there, and that's how we have sketched it. We've started with the y-intercept, uh, and then go ahead and count out two more points using the slope and connect your line. So in this lesson you've learned how to sketch the graph of a linear relation by investigating the equation and verbal description.